I'm a, I'm a big advocate of supplements, right? I, I am, I, I, I say to everybody, I'm a food first nutritionist. Like I really want people to, you know, at, like go, 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 go for the, go for the big things first, right? Get the processed food out of your diet as much as possible. Get in more fiber, get in more fruits and vegetables, you know, that, that, that kind of stuff. You don't have to be eating a perfect mental fitness diet or a perfect Mediterranean diet, but like, let's, let's go and do those kinds of things first. Don't ever think you're going to be able to just pop a pill and not worry about your baseline diet. It doesn't, it doesn't work that way. Right. But if you have good science-based research backed supplements, you can actually use those as the first piece of the puzzle sometimes to, you know, help with your stress levels so that you're not getting stress eating all the time or help with your appetite control. So, so you can make those, you know, make those good choices. You can use supplements to help with your motivation so that you are inclined to go be, be more physically active. You can use supplements to help with your stress levels so you can get a good night's sleep. And, you know, so you can use them to really help you facilitate those good lifestyle choices that we've been talking about. But it's um, it's a little bit of the wild west out there with supplements, right? There's a there's probably more, not not probably, there are definitely more garbage supplements on the market that make claims that don't live up to what the supplement actually does. Um, there are supplements that are 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 pixie dusted, right? They might have a good ingredient, but it's not it's not enough of an ingredient to actually you know deliver a benefit. Um, yeah, so I think it's a I think it's buyer beware, but I think if if customers and consumers want to educate themselves and say and say to the and say to the companies, hey, uh, can you prove to me that this supplement lives up to the claims? Can you tell me why you use this ingredient and not that other ingredient? Can you tell me wh wh where your sourcing comes from? And like the companies that do it the right way, they're going to go out of their way to say, here's our research. Here's why we use this ingredient. Here's why we use this much. Here's why we're using this strain of bacteria versus that strain of bacteria. You know, there's a, there's enough companies that are doing it right, where I think people can, people can find those. And, uh, you know, I should, I, I, I should be, you know, fully, fully, um, you know, open, open about this. Like I am, I am a executive at a dietary supplement company. Right. And so I formulate products based on those principles that I just said, you know, I'll formulate products and say, I want this strain of bacteria because it's been clinically validated to help with stress levels or mood levels or resilience levels or whatever. And it, and if I can do that, if I can follow the science, then I can go to the customers that are asking those questions that I just said, <laughs> I can say, listen, there is research to show that this is going to help you feel better. There is research to show this is going to help you perform better. And then, and then you you should be the judge of that, right? You should say, okay, let me see what this research is going to do in my body. How am I going to feel it? How am I going to perform with it? How am I going to respond? Um, and you know, if you follow the science, you can you know you can be reasonably. Um, you know, reasonably uh, 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 proven. You know that that you're going to get you're going to get the going to get those benefits.